Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Sherry, uh, aka Keto Twisted Gypsy, and I have a Dollar Tree haul. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back to watch one of my videos, guys. I really appreciate it. Each and every one of you guys, I appreciate you guys. So I'm just going to get right into this haul. It is Thursday. I worked till one, ran down to the Dollar Tree, and I think I might hit up another Dollar Tree today. It's according to whether I have time or not. So, um, I got enough stuff here for a couple of videos. So what I'm gonna do is one today and then one at lunchtime tomorrow with this stuff. So um, I'm gonna start with this big bag because I got one big bag. He kind of put everything in there and I'm like, okay, I like it. It's less bags to carry. But this is a really good deal, I feel like. This is family size Hershey's cookies and cream Fillows. Now, I was getting, um, I don't know if it was cinnamon, vanilla, or something like that. I had found a few boxes of those, and I got them for my sons, and they loved them. So, this is the first time I'd ever seen the cookies and cream fillows. So, I did get three boxes of these, because these are big boxes, and they are good until June of this year. So, why not pick them up. I know they will get eight. So, yeah. I just felt like this was a really good deal. I just want to say how much do these weigh? One pound, six ounce boxes, guys. They are huge. So, I was extremely thrilled to find those. Yes. And let me just say, my voice probably does sound different because my husband has got me sick. Um, I don't know what I've got. I just know, like, it, yesterday I kept trying to clear my throat, and today I've got a sore throat, and I was trying to lose my voice earlier, so I'm hoping I don't lose my voice. Yeah. So, anyway, here's something I always, well, usually I get the Dollar Tree brand. Today I just thought I'd get the Scott brand, Scott Comfort Plus. Um, I like either or. It does not matter to me whatsoever. It all serves the same purpose, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, and here's something I was really hoping to find, guys. It's the Ken Outfits. So, I guess this is for Ken, right? I saw somebody haul them, and they said it was for Ken. And I'm like, oh, look, it's for Ken. I guess it's for Ken. It doesn't really say for Ken. Anyway, this is the golfing one. Love it. Jack has got a doll. It's a boy doll. It's not a Ken doll. It's a generic. <laughs> a generic boy doll. So, th that's what I got these for because I bought her a bride and groom set one time. And so, he's the groom. So, he all he has is a tuxedo. And who wants to wear a tuxedo all the time? So, I just thought that he might like to <laughs> dress up in some different clothes. So anyway, this is the golf one. This is the chef one. It's got a little pizza pan, which is super adorable. I wish I had a, a chef hat, but I guess it doesn't. And then we have the referee one, and it has a whistle to go around the neck, which I thought was extremely cute. So yeah, she can dress up her Ken doll or her Jim or whoever, whoever he is. Yes. Let me roll this. I'm, I got a breeze blowing in, and I'm starting to get a little chilly. Okay, so I got like an, another collar, simply because the other one I got is it's the purple one, not pink. It's purple. But my husband's like, if you take him to the vet, that I know, he said they're gonna be making fun of me because my cat's got a pink collar on. I said, well, for one thing, this is purple, and he's magical, so he should have a purple collar on, you know. So. I went ahead and picked this up. I don't know when I'm going to put it on him. Um, his appointment's next Tuesday. So, to tell you the truth, I'll probably leave the purple one on him. So, I hear this bell all the time. I, when he, when we first got him, you know, he was, first of all, stayed hid for two days. And then, you know, every noise he made, he, he'd go and hide. Now, he's like everywhere. He's under our feet all the time. He's always wanting to be where we're at. He's like 
this he's everywhere and I love it I love it he's definitely coming around so yeah okay I got these right here these are from the teaching tree and I've been get, collecting stuff you know to send to Jack's teacher to help in the classroom so I got this cute little snail and then I might keep this right here I don't know it's lemons. It's got like sparklies on it. And I know some people use these to um, like send in friend mail or whatever. And they just write on the back. So I think that's kind of cool. I just want to see what they're made out of here. And I can seal it back up. Okay. So it's just like a card, you know, and you can write on the back. So that might be a cute little idea. I might do that. I haven't made up my mind 100% yet. So, we shall see. I'll definitely send the snails, though. Although, they are adorbs. Yes. Adorbs. And then, I found these cute little items for Jack. Maybe the other little girls, too. I don't know. I have no clue yet. So, <laughs> these are little felt stitch it. Uh, stitch it. They're from Crayola. It says stick, stuff, and stitch. So here's what they look like. So basically what you do is stick, um, it looks like you stick little felt like stickers on the icing part and stuff like that. Maybe even the, con yeah, all of this, the chocolate, the little sprinkles, the um the little lines for the cone that's all what you stick and then you stitch you stuff it stick stitch play stick stuff stitch okay you're going to stuff it with something i'm not 100 percent sure um but anyway <laughs> i got the ice cream cone mm, i hope my voice doesn't leave i got the felt cupcake which i thought was adorable and then I got the felt donut. So, all the sweet treats they had. So, I thought these were, like, really cute. And then I found, let's see. I got another pack of these. I'm not sure where they're at. But this is the baking cups. And I love that teal color. Can you see that? And I thought that me and Fifi might use these in an upcoming video. I think she's wanting to make maybe banana Somebody requested banana nut bread, and she suggested banana nut muffins, so we might do that. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd get these adorable little spring-colored teal muffin cups. And then I got one pack of stickers, and that's all, guys. Was that a B? I got one pack of stickers, and they are gorgeous. What got me totally is this mason jar right here look at that oh, these are all beautiful though they just give you that springy vibe if you can see them good so cute good times wonderful good times wonderful nature life my life sweet all is beautiful so those are pretty so i'm just glad to find those okay okay there's that one. So let me see what's next. I'm just going to grab this one right from the top and dive in. Just dive in. This is, there's a lot of food in here, but there's other things as well. I grabbed one of these for my son Jeremy to take to his house. Um, he loves them. That's the toffee peanuts. And I don't think they're like too difficult. Like before, it's, it does say that some of the pieces can be hard, but he didn't seem to have any trouble with them yesterday when he was chowing down. So, I just feel like it's a really good deal because it's such a heavy little package. And I never can find, like, the weight of these. I don't know why. I feel like that's weird because it doesn't have the weight. Maybe I just can't see it. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Nine ounces. There we go. And then, um, sometimes my husband likes to have hash browns. So, I know I got these once before. And my son, my youngest son, when he lived with us, he um, made them wrong or something and said they were horrible. But he didn't follow the directions. I think he just put a little bit of oil in a pan and dumped these out. And that was it. So, 
you have to put water in here and let them set and stuff like that. So for a dollar, I felt like this is going to be a good little thing, you know, just to make as a side dish. Maybe one day when I make bacon and eggs, just for the family to have the Hungry Jack. So it says family size serves five. So usually there's four of them. So that'll be just fine. That'll be just fine, guys. Okay, I did grab two packs of the Good Sense Handles Tall Kitchen Garbage Bags. Ten in a box. We love these. That's all I buy. Okay. How are these, like, so out of order? Um, I went ahead and grabbed these. I just feel like this is a good deal for Libby's Sliced Pineapples. And I'm thinking um, we might make, me and Fifi, might make a pineapple upside down cake one day. So... I think <coughs> my throat really is feeling bad. Um, I think that that might be a good thing to make, you know, pineapple upside down cake. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> and I didn't get me anything to drink whatsoever. So bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, I found something new in the food aisle. I've been looking for the... Um, goldfish tortilla fish or whatever the like sort of like doritos but goldfish i was hoping to find those i think that's why actually i'm going to run to the other dollar tree just to see if they have them out yet just to see if they might have put some hard candy stuff out i'm kind of obsessed right now so anyway these are the lance new this says new spicy cheddar looky there spicy cheddar so i thought that'd be a good thing to have laying around. Jack would probably like them. Um, I'll let her try them first. I don't think they're going to be too hot. So yeah, I'll let her try those. And then I picked up these just to have for her little snack bin as well. It's just the Lemon O. Is that what they're called? Lim O Lunch. Uh, lemon Cream Cookies. And you get like eight packs in here. Eight? Is it eight packs? How many packs are in here? One, two... How many packs are in here? Hold on. I'm going to see, just because I'm curious. You get, I think it's eight. Yeah. Eight packs? No, six packs. Six packs of four cookies each. So, I feel like that's a good little deal. I don't smell lemon. Four cookies in each pack. That way, if you don't have to open the whole pack... You know, if nobody eats them, they won't get stale or whatever. So, just thought I would try them. And the spicy, I've never seen those before. So, I think those might be good. And then Hungry Jack, my husband will be thrilled. I, will, I try not to go out of my way too much when I'm cooking because I despise it. But, it's not going to be too bad, I don't guess. <laughs> I do despise it. What can I say? Well... <clears throat> okay, what's the time? What are we at here? Let's do one more bag. And then the other three I will save till tomorrow at lunchtime. By then I'll have another load, probably. All right. Let's see. Let me do this one. Let's do this one. All right. So, I got a couple Easter baskets for um, my two grandson, or my grandson. By the way, I had a grandson born today. <laughs> By the way, I think he weighed seven pounds, two ounces. Um, and his name is Jason Ricky Milam. And yes, he was born at 7.05 this morning, I think. Or 7.15, something like that. But we were going to go up to the hospital to see him. Me and my husband are both sick, so I might wait till he gets to come home, and maybe they'll bring him over one day. I just don't want to, you know, I guess if we could go and look through that window that they have, hopefully. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but we're both sick, so really, we don't even want to go up to the hospital. So, we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, yay! Healthy and happy and sweet looking, I have to say. Adorable. Yes. 
So anyway, I found some sunglasses and I just, I was walking by, glanced over and I'm like, oh, I really like those because I love colorful frames and I'm going to try these on. Let's just see, go ahead and get these tags off because I don't need those. Look at that. I love these. How cute. I mean, I will rock these all the time. Yep, and they're pretty dark too. Can you see that? They're pretty dark. And then this other pair, what do you see these? These are so cute. <clears throat> these, I'm like, OMG. I've got to have these. I've got to. So, hold on. Okay. Check these out. Check these out. I will absolutely wear these going down the road. I do not have a problem with it whatsoever, okay? Love them. Look at that. Woo! Baby! These are it right here. Love them. Love them. Love them. I think I'll use those for a thumbnail. And then for my grandson, um, JJ, who is um, about a year and a half. I got these for his Easter basket. They're like little blue camo. And I just thought that'd be cute. And then for Jack, I got these for her Easter basket. So, I thought that'd be a cute thing to put in an Easter basket, guys. What do y'all think? And then for my son, my youngest son's Easter basket. I know he got a million pairs of socks for Christmas. Um, but I have not seen these. This is just the Target Reminds me of the store, Target, has a little arrow. And then these are dogs and fire hydrants, come on. That's adorable. I got these for my dirty car, guys. My car needs wiped down so bad. So I can just sit here and just wipe everything down. It's the Driver's Choice Multi-Purpose Wipes. I absolutely love wipes of any type. I mean, to clean with, to clean your face with, whatevs, I love wipes. So you get 30 in here, and I want to see what they smell like. Just out of curiosity. Gosh, they smell good. Oh, they smell lemony fresh, maybe. I don't know. They smell good. And then I grabbed some of this. Um, I have a hummingbird feeder at home. It's hum This is called Hummers Galore, and it's hummingbird nectar. So it makes 16 ounces of the nectar. Now, I know that you can make it nectar with sugar water and all that stuff, and I've done that before. But I just thought just to start out the season, get it out on the porch, um, I would go ahead and grab one of these, if you can see that. And then I grabbed one of these tooth whitening kits. This is the, um, it says brighten your smile in just five minutes. Natural white, natural white, five minute whitening. Tooth whitening system has a little tray. Somebody said that these really work, so I'm gonna try it out because the coffee is getting to me, getting to my teeth, yes. I got one candle, guys. And I'll tell you the reason. It, this one is gingerbread chai. There's what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like Christmas for sure. But when I smelled it, it smells like, you know, whenever everything like pumpkins start coming out and everything fall. And if you open this candle, oh, that gives me such a happy feeling. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It smells like fall, pure and simple smells like fall so the nostalgic part of me had to get it um, I got to put my phone on charge really quick like battery thing just came on down to 15 percent ah, can't have that ah, get on there okay we're good and then let's see here um get over there I got these for my daughter these are women's fashion knee highs I thought these would be really good for her to wear with her boots. And these suckers are like super long. I mean, as you can see, super long. I wish so much that I could wear their socks, but I can't. Not the knee highs. So I just thought she would love to wear those under her boots. And then here's a weird little thing. See this? Okay, so this was in like a, a soap, like a hand soap, hand soap. But I'm like, why can I not use this as a spoon holder? right? 
So I grabbed that for a spoon holder because you can never have too many spoon holders. Kind of addicted to them. Love spoon holders. So I got that bad boy. Look at him. He's cute. He's cute. They didn't have a cat, so I had to get the dog, but it's perfect for a spoon holder on the stove. Last but not least, I got two Easter basket buckets. And this is what I'm going to use for Jack and JJ. So I got the yellow one for Jack. I thought that was absolutely adorable. And then this one for JJ, just a little Easter bunny and the chick. So these are the ones that I'm going to be using for their baskets. So I'm going to try not to go overboard. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to get off of here and... I gotta do something about this. I gotta, I gotta do something. <laughs> so I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your Thursday. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Have a great day. Bye guys.